Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing my October wrap up and November TBR. I've been booktubing for a year now and I can't believe that it's been a year. Where did the time go? Anyways, let's just get to the books that I read this month. Um, I read seven books and yeah, I have some few for my TBR for November also. So let's just get to that. The first book I read in October was The Ocean at the End of the Lane by Neil Gaiman. I rated it a solid four stars. I really enjoyed it. It was a quirky, weird little story and I quite enjoyed it. The only reason I didn't rate it a full five stars was everyone was hyping it up to be this amazing, mind-blowing book. And for me, it wasn't really that. I didn't really think it was mind-blowing. Yeah, I enjoyed it. It was good. But I don't think it was worthy of a full five stars. But I definitely still enjoyed it. It was pretty cool. And this cover, though, it's cool. The second book I read this month was We Were Liars by E. Lockhart. I rated this technically on Goodreads. It says five stars, but more like 4.5, but still five because this was, oh my god, so amazing. Probably the best book of the month. I know some people either like it or hate it, but I definitely love this one. I liked the writing. It had a hazy, mysterious feel to it. And the twist at the end I did not see coming. It was just amazing. It was really, really well put together. It was amazing. The next book I read in October was Shadow and Bone by Leigh Bardugo, the first book in the Grisha trilogy. I rated this a solid four stars. I enjoyed this almost right from the beginning. I really liked the plot, but... I didn't really like um, the main character, Alina, or any of the characters for that matter. They had the potential to be likable, but they all did very unlikable things. Like at times their personality I liked, but the things they did I didn't like. Except for Alina, her personality was just ugh. She is not a good person to have the point of view. She's just annoying and whiny, honestly, but I really enjoyed this. Like, the plot and the whole idea and the, um, Grisha aspects. And then directly after that, I moved on to Siege and Storm by Leigh Bardugo, the second book in the Grisha trilogy, which I only rated three stars because this one I found to be quite boring. The beginning and end I liked, but the rest was just boring to me. It doesn't help that it's even bigger than the first book, so that's a lot of boring, honestly. But it built the end, it like built up to this like, to a really good conclusion, and I think the final book of this trilogy is going to be amazing. And then I finally finished Lord of the Flies by William Golding, which I had to read for my English class. And this I rated two stars. I did not really like it at all. The dialogue, since this book is old, the dialogue is kind of old-timey-ish. Not like Shakespeare, but just um, older dialogue that doesn't really make any sense. I was very confused throughout the whole book because it doesn't really sometimes outright tell you. It just... No, and it was so boring, like very boring. I did not really like it at all. Um, I just didn't really understand a lot of parts of it. I actually had to read chapter summaries of this book to understand some of the things that were going on because I did not really understand the things. I don't know if I was just sidetracked and wasn't really paying attention well enough or if it was just not explained well enough, but I just did not really understand. So yeah, bye. The next book I read in October was The Blood of Olympus by Rick Riordan, the final book in the Heroes of Olympus series. And I'm sad to say I only rated this four stars. I thought it was going to be a lot better. I had quite a few problems with it. I did like the plot and I did like some of the things in this, but it 
had more problems than good things. Although it was mainly good, but the problems, all the problems that I didn't like about it combined were, um, like it kind of knocked off a star. Like, for example, it kind of, the really awesome characters, like, um, like Percy and Annabeth were just kind of like sidelined in this book and most of it was told through the point of views of Jason and Piper although there were some other people too but it was mainly told through Jason and Piper because they had the most chapters which I did not like because I do not like those two characters and also I didn't feel like enough things were resolved like I'm not gonna spoil but just check out my Goodreads review I might link it in the description box later whenever I feel like it. But yeah, just check that out to see all my thoughts because the review is kind of long. And the final book that I read this month was The Archive by Victoria Schwab, the first book in the Archived Trilogy. I know it's a trilogy because I saw somewhere on the internets and Victoria Schwab said she was going to make this a trilogy. The third book I know she said was coming coming out in either late 2015 or 2016. So yeah, but anyway, I rated this technically like 4 stars on Goodreads, but more like 4.5. There was literally nothing unlikable about this book. I liked the characters, the writing, the, um, the whole idea and aspect, the plot, even this cover. So yeah, it was a pretty awesome book, and I'm definitely excited to pick up the sequel. The only reason I didn't rate it a full 5 stars was because, I think because it's the first book in the series, it had a little explaining to do, and I think the next book is going to be better because we already know like what's going on in this series, so I think there will be more room for action. But this was still really awesome. Alright, now on to my November TBR. I don't have a lot, but I have quite a few. The first book I'd like to start, I'd actually like to start it today, since today is November 1st that I'm filming this, but the next book I'd like to start for November is Fallen Kingdoms by Morgan Rhodes. I was originally going to read this instead of the archived at the end of the month, but this is like 400 pages, so I decided to go with the archived because it was shorter. But this looks really interesting, That I and I recently bought this in October, didn't really haul it yet. I don't have enough books to make like a book haul video, so oh well. Um, but yeah, this is probably going to be the first book that I read in November. The next book I'd like to read in November is Angel Fall by Susan E. Um, yeah, this just looks real interesting. It's kind of short. I think it's less than 300 pages, so I'll probably get through this quickly. I'd also like to read Looking for Alaska by John Green this month. This is also kind of short. This is one of the only John Green books that I haven't read yet. I've read, obviously, The Fault in Our Stars. That was the first book that I read by him. I read Paper Towns, Will Grayson, Will Grayson, which he wrote with David Levithan, An Abundance of Catherines. So this and Let It Snow are the only two books that I haven't read by John Green yet. So yeah, this one. Alright, so that's pretty much it for this month's wrap-up and TBR video. Hope you liked it, and yeah, I'll see you guys later. And I'll probably be making some videos this weekend. I have some plans to do stuff, so yeah, look out for those. Okay, bye!